getting bigger. Stuck. There's a tree there. Oh. Oh. Da -da. Thing is, there's no way to line it either. There's like nothing on this side to line it. That's super deep hole, deep holes. So my, my cousin Guido and I just started our trip. The mission right now is just to find the campsite. We are not going to progress much today with these conditions and uh, going in the middle of the lake right now is dangerous. The wind's supposed to get only worse with time. We're expecting more rain as well. So I'm gonna try and head into this bay that is a couple kilometers away and establish a campsite and maybe tomorrow we can progress more on the lake. Come on, come on. Waves are getting bigger. La la. Yep. Oh, we can do it, man. The rain's really hitting. Tapate el gorro. On your rainproof. Yeah. Let's get out of here, man. Vamos ahí, ojo. Let's try to keep straight on the waves. En derecho. Dios, está bueno. Ahí sale una. I already see a potential spot under that tree. Yep. Capitán. Tenés ese? <laughs> Perfect. Very good. You and I made it. This is pretty good, man. I think it's a good call. You know, like it was, we tried to, we we're trying to, to head to another bay, and there was no guarantee that we could find anything better. And this is an obvious, an obvious option. There's a nice rose hip bush uh, just blocking the wind, which is ideal. So we're gonna set up the tent this way with our heads here and feet that way. We'll get all the stuff over here, bring the canoe over and set up. Let's do it. We think we hear some moving water. We're gonna go check it out. Hopefully it's a little stream because the water from here from the beach is all shadow and super silty. We want a clean source of water, so we're gonna go check this out. Yeah, we found it, but not sure. I'm in love with the quality of it, to be honest. We've already seen a few uh, bones and 
stuff. So if there's like some kind of dead animal anywhere nearby, the water could be contaminated. So I think we'll pass on this one. Better from the lake, less chance of some kind of virus there and more dilution from the huge volume of water in the lake. Just gonna go get some water now, trying to get off the shore a little bit into the deep water so we can get some fresh, nice water, not silty. Yeah. Oh my, stuck here. Okay, I gotta be quick because the wind's gonna spin me around. That's one. Running into the reeds again quick. That's two. Final one. Perfect. Just in time. Success! Try, I'm fine. See, I'm fine. It's just a scratch, yeah. I'm rough now. Yeah, I'm good now. I guess we are. I'm good, buddy. <laughs> That's a good one. And that one. Yep. Incoming.
excelentemente lisa y edición, boludo, y mirá. Pues no puede estar mejor. Vos, vos te corres un poquito, corres un poquito ahí nada más, pues asumiar, pero. No, pero es excelente, boludo. He was pretty tired, he's having a nap. It's about 6 p.m. and it's been a long day. He traveled yesterday, he's tired, so I got a nice uh, star fire going, nice and controlled, burning slow and steady, which is perfect. So we don't go through the wood so, so aggressively. Also keep the risk of any fire down. There's an abundance here of rose hips. So I'm gonna pick some and try and do a tea, see how it comes out. Let's give it a try. Thunderstorm. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Ahí, uy, le, le tiro un chorrito de aceite acá. Vale, sí, sí, se pega. Listo. Ojo. Opa. Ahí. Me pasto por. Uh. 
e voilà da, 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 da. va bene one two three four five one two three four five what's your hand eh Cheers, man. Cheers to it. Mm. morning guys we had a pretty restful sleep it's absolutely gorgeous here in the forest the calls of the birds and the, the sound of the flowing stream behind us the lake behind us is absolutely still with a steaming really gorgeous mountains covered still cloudy day but seems to be pretty settled so we're gonna try and take advantage of the good conditions seems like the wind shifted today in our favor actually so we're gonna try and break camp quite quickly and get on the water to make some progress let's do it
parejas entre ellos. Take some wood with us. We found some good wood. It will save us some time when we get to the next camp in uh, three or four hours. Excellent, Guido. What a teammate I have. your eyes peeled for trout. As you can see, this is a, a Guido bear, a type of very rare bear that eats every hour or so, depleting our precious food storage. la caña va a romper la caña también cannot afford to lose a second drone again man so we're going after this one I'm gonna take off, off my clothes I've tied up the canoe I'm gonna try and fish it out from there with my feet if not I'm gonna have to go under try and keep everything organized for when I come out of the water the towel is ready it's not a very big towel let me tell you Woo. It'll be a cold one. It's a rock, just a ledge here. There you go. Stuck. There's a tree there. Shit. Oh. Oh. Okay. But I need some space. Got it. Got it, man. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, one of the blades is gone. Gimbal seems to be in shape. I mean, <laughs> if we rescue this, it's a miracle. Let me shut it down. Guys, I'm gonna get dry and we're gonna continue our trip. Thank you for the dark chocolate. That's a nice piece of energy. Ow. We had about 12, 13 kilometers distance to cover from camp this morning to our destination, which is uh, Lago Espejo Chico, which means small mirror lake. And this one is Lago Espejo Grande, which is big mirror lake. We're looking for a, a little passage on our right, which will connect this 
the big mirror lake to the small mirror lake. Little coffee break, maybe you'll have a little bit of lunch and we carry on. We're really close to the passage connecting Big Mirror Lake to Small Mirror Lake. <laughs> Look, it foams, man. It's nice. Oh, cheers, buddy. We go, yeah? Too late now. <clears throat> this is the entry to the lake. Yeah, that's a waterfall, man. There's a rapid there, we can hear it, and we have a blind corner, so we're gonna go check it out. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it to the lake. Oh, it sounds, sounds quite loud, eh? I don't think this is gonna be runnable. No, no! No way, man! I can't see all you! <laughs> no way, dude! Yeah, change your plans! Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. No, no, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not like coming back. It's dangerous to go down. Yeah, no, no. There's no way we're gonna run that. I guess the big mirror lake connecting to the, the small mirror lake, I thought it was just a flat passage. On Google Maps, I didn't really see a big differential in, uh, in height. So I thought it might just be a straight flat passage, but Clearly there's rapids and um, that's like a that's like a class four to be honest. Uh, really dangerous. There's no way we would run that, so we're gonna have to re-strategize. Gonna try and see if we can get a little bit closer to see it up close. There is probably a line. Probably you can do it there and somehow maneuver this way, but not for my skill level. Thing is, there's no way to line it either. Like nothing on this side to line it. That's super deep hole, deep holes, super dangerous. It's, I mean, it would just have to be a portage. We're gonna portage around this whole area. We're gonna do it double carry. So we're gonna go do the canoe first or the packs first and then vice versa. And then we'll put back in and then we have like probably six kilometers to what seems to be an established campsite and tomorrow morning we're hoping that campsite connects to the road and then we'll walk about six to seven kilometers to the car bring the car back up and load the stuff and uh, get out of here so that's the plan <laughs> Oh, 
Sun's coming out, man. So beautiful, man. Wow. We made it to Lago Espejo Chico, to Small Mirror Lake, and we are about halfway through it. We paddled about almost three kilometers, and uh, trying to find a wild site to camp. We'd rather not camp in the uh, established campsites, have a little bit more wilderness feel, and we'll sort out the logistics tomorrow. We can we can hitchhike back to the car, we can walk it, which will take about an hour and a half to walk along the road. Maybe someone at the camping site can give us a lift. We'll sort that out tomorrow. We'll use the last two hours of sunlight to enjoy. Looks quite, quite good actually, eh? Looks quite good, huh? Asha, even there. About under here. Mm. Go check out this beach. You know, it's okay here, but it's, I think it's better where Guido is back in there. All right, we'll make something work over there. Time to set up camp. When you rush, you pay the price. That's what happens, guys. I was trying to just, I pulled the, the knife from the sheath really quickly and as I pulled it, I just sliced my finger open a little bit there. It's not too deep, so I'm just gonna put a band-aid on it and just fix it. Don't rush, especially when you're tired.
Está el dente, me encanta el dente así. Mm, está riquísimo. Si lo de vuelta, no. Ahí está. Nice. ¿Y? Mm. Nice one. morning guys it's about 6 a.m here waking up my cousin guido with a light right in his face right on time the wind seems to have died completely so it's a good opportunity to get out and finish the paddle we're probably gonna have to pack and get on the water just in the dark a little bit yeah so we just uh, undid that fireplace ugly big fireplace that somebody had left and uh, picked up some rubbish as well it feels really good to leave the land better than we found it and i uh, hope more people do the same nice We're not really sure how we're gonna get to the car yet. We we're about eight kilometers away by road. So maybe we'll just walk it and um, bring the car back and load all the gear here. We'll stash all the gear somewhere. Vamos. We've stashed our, our canoe here, all our stuff underneath. Hopefully you'll be safe there. There's quite a lot of value there. And we're leaving small mirror lake. Lago Espejo Chico behind and we are going to try and find the road. Looking around here and it doesn't seem like either there's no one here or everybody's still sleeping so I guess we have to get ourselves out so let's do it let's go find the main road and walk to the car. So the first part is that we made it to the main road the Ruta 40 which is the Route 40, but there's not a single car yet. There's no one, we need to head south. So we need to head right, we need to head south that way. I think. We got a ride, perfect. Grande. Gracias, amigo. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, and just like that, we made it, yes. We saved about two hours of walking with that hitchhike. The guy was awesome. He gave us a ride to our ride. Now we get in the, in the car and go back and pick everything up. <laughs> we have the key. We have the key. So if you like this sort of adventure, guys, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. And I see you on the next one. All the best, guys. Take care.